Cincinnati is remembering one of this city's best known boxing coaches. Michael Stafford died at 67 years old. He was known for helping amateurs make it to the big leagues. Three of his trainees have gone on to become world champions. WCPO 9 News anchor Jasmine Stiles talked with some of them as they look back on the legacy Stafford leaves behind. For years, you could find coach Mike Stafford in here, keeping up with the best of them. But more recently, those close to him started to notice he'd slowed down, although Stafford did his best to hide it. Never knew he was sick at the time. He didn't mention it to anybody. When he went to the hospital, I was kind of shocked. Stafford, who sparred with the likes of Olympians, was on the verge of death. But at the time, Daryl Jones, his longtime friend, sure didn't think so. He was throwing punches in the bed. I said, you all right? He, he couldn't only talk because he had two of them, but he was throwing punches. So I said, Mike look good. Unfortunately, he died just days later. Now, those who trained under him are reminiscing about the man who modeled teenagers into world champions. It was great working with Mike. It was always love. It was always care. It was like a father. He always was hands on and, and caring, and he made you feel good about yourself no matter what. Stafford coached William Jackson in his teenage years and was there in Jackson's corner when he won this championship belt. Adrian Williams says he's always been in his students' proverbial corners even when trouble comes their way. He says Stafford really had a soft spot for probably his most well-known boxing student, Adrian Bronner. There was times that uh, Adrian w uh, was kicked out of the gym, but Mike would find a way to bring him into the gym, train late at night, whatever he could do. So he's meeting these kids wherever they are. Although Williams, Jackson, and Jones say they plan to continue on in Stafford's footsteps, they hate that this new generation won't get a chance to get the full experience. Well, I, I think about Mike every day. I think about he's still here. He's still here in spirit. The love, the, the jokes, the, the, the caring person, and just knowing that all these kids is going to miss that. In Cincinnati, I'm Jasmine Stiles, WCPO 9 News.